BBB ABS training webinars. This webinar is part of a series providing an introduction to EU access and benefit sharing regulations. It was developed by the Interreg funded European Blue Biobank project. The European Blue Biobank project, or EBB, is a European Marine Biological Resource Centre project to promote compliance with access and benefit sharing frameworks for genetic resources derived from the Nagoya Protocol. It aims to facilitate sustainable access to marine biodiversity, its associated data and extractable products for local and international academia and industry users. It also aims to incentivize biodiversity conservation in coastal ecosystems and provides tools to achieve these aims. These are the EBB trace database, a searchable catalog of marine biological resources provided by the EBB Biobank, the EBB track tool for provision of macroorganisms, service supply, and biobank management, and the EBB EMBRC best practice guide, a handbook for ABS compliance, which provides recommendations to marine biological resource collections and users institutions, and the practical guide for users Seek, Keep and Transfer, a step-by-step -step guide to ABS compliance when utilising marine genetic resources. This webinar is part of a series designed to provide an introduction to EU access and benefit sharing regulations for collections and users. Webinar 1 provides an introduction to ABS. Webinar 2 provides an overview of the scope of the EU ABS regulation on ABS compliance. Webinar three provides recommendations for institutions with users and collections of marine genetic resources. Webinar four considers managing ABS compliance and collections. Webinar five, it provides an overview of compliance for users and a review of seat keep and transfer a step-by-step -step guide to ABS compliance when utilising marine genetic resources. Webinar six discusses the EU registers, that is the registered collections and best practices as tools to support ABS compliance. We particularly draw your attention to the two handbooks provided by the project, the EABB EMBRC best practice guide to ABS compliance, this handbook is aimed at users, institutions and collection managers of marine biological resources. It provides an introduction, background and overview of ABS, user-friendly guidance to implementing ABS best practices for institutions. It covers a wide range of possible scenarios and includes technical guidelines and supporting material. Seek Keep Transfer is a practical guide for users of genetic resources. Users are guided through a six-step process to perform ABS due diligence. And webinar five provides a full overview of the guide. The following webinar and subsequent webinars in this series have been developed as introductory guides based on the EBB handbook and step-by-step -step guide. While the authors have aimed to make the information as accurate and up-to-date as possible, ABS is complex and evolving. The authors are not responsible for the results of any actions taken by institutions or users on the basis of information that is not within this webinar nor the EBB guides. The recommendations in this webinar do not supersede official texts or substitute for ABS policies that institutions may already have in place. Further specific information and support is available and it is recommended that dedicated ABS support is sought from either the home organisation or from the ABS competent national authority for research in their country. Webinar six begins by discussing the recognition of ABS best practices by the EU ABS regulation. It goes on to discuss the EU ABS regulation definition of collections and identifies the benefits and the disadvantages of registering a collection. It then provides an outline of the registered collection in the EU ABS compliance framework and describes the requirements for collection registration. Finally, the webinar considers the EBB EMBRC best practice guide, minimum recommendations for collections, identifies steps towards registration and applications to the EU ABS registration. 
the EU ABS Regulation Register of Collections and Register of Best Practice Guidelines are two separate voluntary tools to assist users in complying with their due diligence obligations. Collections of genetic resources and the best practices that they employ to comply with EU ABS regulation can both be registered. And best practice guidelines are procedures, tools or mechanisms which, when effectively implemented, help users of genetic resources to comply with due diligence obligations. The effective implementation of a recognised best practice by users should be considered by the competent authorities in their checks on user compliance. As defined by the EU ABS regulation, a collection is a set of collected samples of genetic resources and related information that is accumulated and stored, whether by public or private entities. Genetic resources are defined for access and benefit sharing purposes as any material of plant, animal, that's excluding human, microbial or other origin containing functional units of heredity and including its derivatives, for instance, naturally occurring biochemical compounds. A collection seeking registration must demonstrate the capacity to apply standard procedures for exchanging and supplying genetic resources and related information with documentation providing evidence that the genetic resources have been accessed in accordance with applicable ABS legislation as described in webinar two. So what are the benefits of registering a collection? Researchers and users are expected to exercise due diligence to ensure that any genetic material and associated traditional knowledge that they utilize is accessed in accordance with national laws and ABS and that the benefits are fairly and equitably shared upon mutually agreed terms with the countries of origin. For users, registered collections reduce the administrative burden for the seeking of ABS information. A user accessing the genetic resource from a registered collection is deemed to have exercised due diligence with regards to the seeking ABS documentation as the genetic resource is transferred to the user with the relevant documentation to comply with ABS. This helps to ensure legal certainty around the status and use of the genetic resource and provides assurance that it has been accessed and supplied legally. The user is still under the duty to keep and transfer this information further. For collections, registration is likely to increase visibility and attract users. To support ABS aspirations, registered collections ensure bias prospecting, not bio piracy ensure transparency on how genetic resources and traditional knowledge are utilised and ensure benefits are shared in a fair and equitable way and promote non-commercial research and non-monetary benefit sharing. So are there disadvantages to registering the collection? Registration requires resources from the collection since it increases administration burden and responsibility. A registered collection only holds documented genetic resources. However, a collection may be registered wholly or partly, so some resources held in an institution may therefore be excluded. This is useful where resources are legally held but cannot be supplied. You should note that registered collections are controlled by the competent national authorities for ABS and will be subject to compliance checks. So the requirements for collection registration in the EU register are laid out in Article 5 of the EU ABS regulation. So the collection must apply standardised procedures for exchanging genetic resources and related information with other collections and for supplying genetic resources to third parties for their utilisation, for instance, using material transfer agreements. They must supply genetic resources with documentation providing evidence of compliance with ABS legislation with regards to their accession and, where relevant, mutually agreed terms. Tracking mechanisms, that is the data management, should establish a unique identifiers for genetic resources, keep a record of genetic resources supplied to third persons, monitor when and how specimens permanently leave the ownership, custodianship of the collection, including permanent transfer of ownership to a third party and tracking loss of genetic resource by third parties. Collections should use appropriate tracking and monitoring tools for exchanging genetic resources with other collections or users. 
key steps towards registration of a collection are to adopt best practice guidelines as outlined in the EBB EMBRC guide on access and benefit sharing compliance within institutions. Following documented best practices outlined in part two of the guide supports an application for registration. Collections should conduct an inventory of genetic resources within their collection and ensure that all that should be compliant is compliant and documented. Once best practice procedures and inventory are in place, you choose whether to launch the registration process for all or parts of the collection. And where an applicant is a member of a network of collections, when applying for inclusion of a collection or a part of it in the register, the applicant may inform the competent authorities about any other collections or parts that are from the same network that were or are the subject of an application in other member states for inclusion in the register. Applications for registered status made by collections to the member state in the country, that's the jurisdiction that they are held, and the member state will award the status of registered collection and will regularly verify that the collections continue to meet the criteria. Applications to register a collection are made to the ABS competent national authority of the collections country. The competent national authority will then evaluate the collection according to a national procedure following Article 3 of the ABS Implementation Regulation. Once the verification is completed, the competent national authority will then notify the EU Commission of the name and details of the collection of its holder, as well as the type of collection concerned. And after that, the Commission shall include the received information in the register. Annex 1 of the Implementing Regulation details the information that should be provided to request inclusion in the register. This includes information on the holder and contact details, information on whether the application concerns a collection or part of a collection, information on the collection including the name, identifier, addresses, or the website where available, or a link to the collection's online database of genetic resources where available. A brief description of the collection or the relevant parts thereof is also required where any part of a collection is to be included in the register, details on the relevant parts and its distinctive features should be provided. And finally, the application should provide information on the category to which the collection belongs. Evidence of the capacity of the collection to comply with ABS regulations should be demonstrated. To support an application for registration, evidence of the capacity of the collection to comply with ABS should be provided. Compliance measures could be demonstrated by attaching or sending links to any of the following. Codes of conduct, guidelines or standards developed and adhered to by the collections, and for example this could be the EBB EMBRC best practices, relevant principles, guidelines, manuals, or any evidence of application of ABS compliance, certification of the collection under a relevant scheme, and information about the participation of the collection in any international collections network and associated applications for inclusions in the register filed by partner collections in other member states, for example, the EMBRC ERIC, and any other relevant documentation. Compliance verification by competent national authorities for registration includes verification checks to ensure the collection is complying with Article 5 of the EU ABS regulation. Verification checks may include on the spot checks, checks on selected documentation and records of a collection, which are relevant for demonstrating compliance with EU ABS regulations. Checks that selected samples of genetic resources and related information of the collection concerns has been documented in accordance with Article 5 of the ABS regulation. Examination of collection capacity to consistently supply genetic resources to third parties for their utilisation in accordance with Article 5 of the regulation. And interviews with relevant persons such as the collection holder, staff, external verifiers and users obtaining samples from that collection. Article 11 of the Commission Implementing Regulation has more information on verification and checks. So when registered, your collection will be visible on the EU Register of Collections. 
The register is publicly available, as she provides a snapshot of it, and the number of registered collections is increasing. So congratulations, you have completed the EBB webinar series. I hope you've enjoyed these and now have a clearer understanding of the background to access and benefit sharing and how users, collections and institutions can ensure they're compliant with ABS regulations. We'd like to thank you for watching this webinar and the authors would like to remind you that this webinar is a general introduction to ABS and that the disclaimer provides important information that we would like to draw your attention to. To ensure compliance with ABS, you should refer to official texts and seek advice from your organisation or the ABS competent national authority in the state in which you work.